Well, a unique forest in Monmouth County, New Jersey, may be threatened by rising sea levels. CBS News Meg Baker explored the area on Sandy Hook. Off a biking route, down a sandy path padded with leaves, lives a holly forest. It's a rare maritime forest, and scientists are warning it could be destroyed by climate change. As a result of both sea level rise and shoreline erosion, and these th two things are going together. The shoreline is migrating inland. Rutgers professor Norbert Pizzuti is a coastal geomorphologist who has been studying the changes on Sandy Hook since 1992. He says a new study by the U.S. Geological Survey is alarming. Many habitats will change as water levels rise and plants vulnerable to seawater die. Holly trees collect underground fresh water, which sits on top of lower seawater. As seawater rises, fresh water rises too and threatens to drown the roots. Why are holly forests so important to preserve and why do they do well in you know the sandy soil? They're a unique, unique uh, ecological system. They, they basically uh, occupy places that other other Vegetation doesn't necessarily compete with quite as well. This Bayside Holly Forest is one of two old growth American holly forests that still exists. The other is on Fire Island. Is there anything that can be done? Well, I suppose identify other places along the coast that have a similar kind of ecological habitat. And so it's a matter of finding the niche and then essentially transplanting. The vegetation helps shore up the land, protecting from further erosion. Without it, the recreational activities enjoyed by so many will be unavailable. Other resources are at risk, too, like the historic buildings at Fort Hancock and freshwater wells in the area. On Sandy Hook, Meg Baker, CBS 2 News.